she sees it as like the dollar signs. The feud between Kim and Kourtney Kardashian is growing with every episode of season three, and it won't be long before it blows up in everyone's faces. She's mad at me. Let's get into season three, episode three of The Kardashians. I'm Anna Rumor, and this is Pop Culture Social Call. We've been leading up to the feud between Courtney and Kim since the first trailer came out, and you can totally see the wheels in that fight starting to turn in this week's episode. It all appears to stem from Kim doing a collection with Dolce & Gabbana so soon after Courtney's wedding, which was also a collab with the brand. I am a little worried about Courtney just because Dolce was really close to Court's wedding. I kind of wanted them to have their moment. Kim's working to pull together his fashion show throughout the episode, and it seemed like her sisters either didn't get how big of a deal it was or honestly didn't care. It's really exciting. And Dolce and Gabbana rep stopping by to say hi to Courtney while working with Kim. I'm sure it was meant to be nice, but you could kind of see her fuming. We have like a really personal relationship. We ended the episode with Kim trying to figure out how she was going to pull the whole show off, but it's next week's episode where tensions seem to erupt. In a teaser at the end of the episode, we see Courtney in tears talking about Kim's decision to work with Dolce. <laughs> because it's not about like business. It's just like legit copying my wedding. And while some people thought rumors of a feud were overblown, looks like they're wrong. She's mad at me. Mad at me. Yikes. I am admittedly excited and a little bit nervous to see how this plays out. I mean, we've seen Courtney and Kim go at it before. Okay. Fortunately, we have a little bit of a palate cleanser before we jump in there, and it's Kim's love life. Kim admits while grabbing pizza with Scott that she'd been set up with a new guy following her split from Pete Davidson. A mysterious man, Disick, just decides to call Fred. Does he meet the standards? Oh, it so meets the standards. And in an almost eerie moment of deja vu from last season, we see Kim texting this Fred during a confessional. That's a lot of smiling, young lady. Is that Fred? Yep. Kim said that after all the drama with Pete in the media, she just wants to keep her new guy a secret for now. I just want to sneak around a little bit. Like, there's nothing wrong with wanting to sneak. Now, I'm not watching a reality show about Kim's life to see her hide the secrets of said life, but we've talked about that before, so I'm gonna move on. At least we did get to meet Scott's new girlfriend, Annika. Or, okay, it's just Kim and North special effects makeup, but I did love seeing the return of some Scott pranks. It's Annika. <laughs> even if little Chicago didn't. Poor kid. Also in this week's episode, we got Courtney doing a Lemmy press tour that was basically a melatonin gummy in and of itself, and Kendall teasing a pregnancy that is definitely her horse. It's not her, guys. Don't play with me. This all honestly feels like a buildup to next week's big fight between Kim and Courtney. I'm excited. Let me know what you think is gonna go down in the comments. Like and subscribe while you're there, and head over to popculture.com for the latest in entertainment news. Until next time, I'm Anna Rumor, and this is Pop Culture Social Call.